So it's late last year and it's around midnight and I'm lying in bed and I'm on my laptop. I'm butt naked and I'm looking at something that I should not be looking at, but I can't resist myself. It's so tempting. I'm looking at my plan, my plan that I've set up for the next day. So it's nighttime, it's around midnight and I'm feeling super motivated. You know, tomorrow's going to be a really productive day. You know, I've, I'm, I've made a plan. I'm going to get up. I'm going to do my morning routine, you know, meditate, uh, journal, get some sunlight immediately as soon as I wake up. And once my morning routine's done, I'm going to do a solid hour and a half of work, eat my meal, and then head straight to the gym. And, you know, I've got the rest of the day planned. So I've got a productive, amazing day planned for tomorrow. So I go to sleep and my alarm goes off in the morning and I get out, jump out of bed, head to my desk, turn off my alarm and yeah, let's go. Let's start my day. Ah, oh, but bro, you know, we're about to do like four hours of activities and we've got the whole day to do it, bro. You know, no problem. Let's. Let's chill for a bit and let's, let's wake up. Let's get some motivation first and then, then we can start our day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I lie down in bed and I open up YouTube and watch some videos. Try to get some motivation. Try to like, you know, watch some videos. So 20 minutes passes. I'm scrolling in bed, lying down. 40 minutes pass. An hour. Two hours pass and my YouTube app, app crashes. And I'm sitting there and I just realized, Oh my goodness, I just wasted two hours lying down in bed and I don't even realize it. Okay, okay, come on, let's start our day. So I get out of bed and I'm feeling even more tired than when I woke up. Like, oh man, I should not have scrolled for two hours. Oh, but it's okay, we got the rest of the day. Let's go, let's go. So I head for my balcony, get some sunlight. Okay, this is good. This is gonna be a good day. We're gonna do some work. Oh man, work. Oh, sh I'm not ready for three hours of work. I feel so dead, man. Oh, but you know, it's okay. We've got. We've got a week to finish this assignment, you know. We can, we can do it tomorrow, bro. We'll do double work tomorrow. We'll do double work tomorrow. Let's, uh, let's take a chill today. Yeah, yeah. Or, or we can do it tonight. Let's, we can do it tonight. Oh, mm. damn. Let's go on the hub right now. I feel like going on the hub. So I head into my room, go on the hub, do what needs to be done. And post not clarity sinks in. And I'm just thinking, what happened? Why was I so motivated last night? to live this productive day. But when the day came, I somehow like fell out of that motivation and I convinced myself to not do what needed to be done. Here's the thing, here's why discipline is not working for you. You might not exactly understand what discipline is. So here is what discipline is. You've probably got some goals, right? And like, for example, you wanna study for a certain amount of time every day, or you wanna to go to the gym a certain number of times per week. And you're thinking, okay, if I had enough discipline, I could go to the gym however many days I wanted to a week. I could study how many hours I knew needed to be done every week. But that's not actually discipline. What discipline is, is doing something when you don't feel like doing it. You need discipline to do that. So for example, let's say you wanted to go to the library and study for 90 minutes. You might realize that when you actually get to the library, you have no problem doing that 90 minutes of work. Like you just do the work, you get into a flow state and your mind's not against you then. But your mind is against you when you're at home. It's like, oh, we don't have to go to the library, bro. We can just chill at home, you know, do it tomorrow. So you actually only need discipline to get to the library. So that's the thing in your life for any kind of activity or habit you want to do. There's a constraint right now, like a bottleneck, some part of the task or activity where your mind is like pulling you away from that activity. So it might be like you find the constraint is actually getting to the gym or actually doing your work. Or you might find that once you get to the library, you get distracted, you always pull out your phone. So that's how you actually use discipline. You find the constraint right now in your habit, or your activities, and you basically Make it your goal to ignore whatever your mind says and simply do what you know needs to be done. So that means you're going to have to audit the activities you do in your life and find the constraints. Now, I'm not saying like once you find this constraint and you fix it, you know, you're going to have a 10 out of 10 productive week. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you're going to be able to do your potential. Because right now, bro, your, your ability to work, your focus might be really bad. So even if your constraint is going to the library, 
you're still not going to be able to do like five hours of work because your ability to work is not going to be good enough. So bro, being disciplined also means not pushing really far outside of what you know you can do. So for example, if you don't go to the gym ever, right? You're, you're getting into the gym. You're not good enough right now to do like a two hour workout. You have to drop your ego and realize you're not ready for that right now. So your constraint is literally just getting to the gym. And whatever happens after that doesn't matter. You need the discipline to get to the gym. Because our brain loves this like black and white, white thinking where it's like, okay, either we do a three hour gym session or we're a failure. And it'll be scared to actually get, start doing that thing because it feels like you're gonna fail because you're not gonna be able to do that three hour gym session. So you gotta stop aiming for perfection. Perfection is just, perfectionism will hold you back, bro. You gotta do what you know is your ability right now. So if you haven't been going to the gym for a while, your ability is literally just to get to the gym and do a couple exercises. So that's where you have to use discipline. But bro, why does this happen? Why are there like bottlenecks where our brain manages to convince us to not do what we needs to be, need to be done? Bro, it's because for a lot of the day, we're unconscious. We don't know why we're doing specific things. Like for example, like our brain convinces us not to do that thing because we're like trapped in this haze. We're like trapped in our mind and we let our mind control us and take us over. Because bro, you probably know some people where like when they have to start studying for the SEM or they like have a new business they wanna start or they wanna get into a new hobby. They don't have this problem that we have where they have to like build up their discipline and build up their ability to like do the thing. They can just start and they're like immediately good. They don't have this part of their brain that convinces them not to do that thing. That means they have better mental health, bro. So actually, to improve your discipline, you need to improve your mental health. But if you always have that part of your mind that's trying to pull you down, you are like a rubber band. You're gonna be building your discipline, building your discipline, but you're always gonna snap back to that beginning part where you were. You know, you're gonna make some progress, some progress, boom, you're gonna come back. Progress, progress, come back. So unless you can cut that rubber band and like silence that part of your mind that's trying to pull you down, you're not gonna be able to consistently increase and improve and make progress. So that's why working on your mental health is essential, bro. But a bunch of guys are not gonna wanna work on their mental health. Most guys don't even work on their mental health. They don't know it's something they can work on. Like they don't know what it's like to have good mental health. Imagine for a second that you didn't have this part of your mind that was like pulling you down, convincing you not to do the thing. Imagine if you only had one voice and you could follow that voice and do what you knew needed to be done every moment of the day. That's what, it's kind of, that's what it's like to have clear mental health, bro. Like right now you're living in a haze and you're like every second of the day you have to decide between which part of your mind to listen to and it's draining your willpower. When you try to apply discipline, it's always gonna feel like you're swimming upstream. But imagine if that part of your mind could be silenced. Then applying discipline would feel like you're swimming downstream. Like you're, it's like natural, like you're meant to head that direction. So that's why working on your mental health will literally improve your discipline, will improve your productivity. Because bro, like that exa example I gave, the difference between, it's the same world that you, us and those guys who are super productive live in. We live in the same world. The only difference is how they perceive the world, their mind. They have a, a mind that is more with, against, that's not against them. So bro, journaling. Journaling is like taking your mind, downloading it and putting it onto paper. So you can look at your mind and you can start to question the thoughts you have. Like you can be like, wait a minute, this thought I'm having about how I shouldn't do this thing. That's my weaker part of my mind speaking. So when you journal, it's like you're understanding your mind more and you're becoming more conscious of the thoughts you have throughout the day. Because right now you're living your day unconsciously. Like you get an impulse to like eat junk food and you eat the junk food and then you regret it. It's because you don't realize that that's a part of your mind convincing you to do that thing. That's why working on your mental health, you know, journaling, meditating, physical exercise, relationships. But guys don't want to improve their mental health because they're like, bro, I don't care about my mental health. I need to study, bro. I need to study for my test. I don't have time to spend 15 minutes this morning journaling and meditating. I don't have time, bro. 
I need to study for my test. But they don't realize that if you spent 15 minutes a day working on your mental health, you would gain thousands of hours back throughout your life, bro. Okay, bro, so I hope this video helped. You, if, let me know if you understand or you disagree or you agree. Reply in the comments because I don't know if this is a concept that I explained in a way that you can understand, bro, but let me know. And subscribe if you resonate with, with this content. And yeah, see you later.